You like Trump? I never said, <coughs> okay, here's the thing. I respect him. But, like, uh, he's our president, so what can we, like, there's what nothing really to do? do. What are we supposed to do? And But here's the thing. I have hope for exactly. America. And I feel we like have a, hope. I feel like a lot of people don't have hope right now. I feel like there's a lot of tweets of people saying we came so far. Like, we, America came so far with, like, equality and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, now that President Trump is elected, that it's all going to go to waste. And I really don't think that's true. Like, we are the people who have allowed equality to be a thing. Not the president. I mean, yeah, there's laws and stuff. Um, but as a person, you have the choice to love someone and be kind and treat people with respect. It's not the president's choice. Yeah, it's, it's not the yeah. It's actually um I think this is not right. <laughs> but it's not the president <laughs> who makes the final call. He I think it's like not the same. Well, if you if any it's, of you it's a group of people who decide. Like the president will like be like, hey yo, what you think of this? And some people are like Mm, no, no. <laughs> no. Here's we the, do that. Here's the thing: our constitution protects, us. and that's what citizens. people forget that the yeah. constitution will always be there. Congress, thank you, thank you, Congress. The constitution is, is there to protect us. You know, um, we have the freedoms, and that's the best part about living in America is that I am a free citizen, and that's why I feel very blessed to live in this country. I have the freedom to even talk about this. You know, and for me, that's that's enough. And so I'm going to treat people with respect, even if they don't deserve the respect, even if they don't, even if they are a bad person, they've done bad things. I am a forgiving person, I'm respectful, and I have hope. Um, and so I feel like a lot of people just need to have hope rather than being sad and depressed. Like, it makes me sad sad that a lot of the fighting and all this stuff and like someone's can we stop talking about politics now <laughs> <laughs> we never talk about this stuff and i just want to say one last thing like i think instead of arguing with people and having violent protests i think we need to start actually coming up with solutions for these problems rather than complaining saying oh why do you hate transgenders stop hating transgender and then you're going to call them all these awful names to this person when you could give them a solution to fix this problem where are the solutions people we need solutions not angry people okay i'm done i'm done goodbye <laughs> no.